Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. Now, if you've watched my videos on my channel, youtube.com forward slash I Sky, where you're watching this video, and, and a lot of you have asked me, like, hey man, how do, I, how do you overcome, how did you overcome, rather, the fear of flying? Because a lot of my drone flights, and I'm out over water, I'm in uh, tight locations, obviously safe and responsible locations, but, you know, I like to push it to the limit. And, you know, how did I overcome that fear, the fear of flying? Well, it's actually quite simple. Now, right now, I've got the Mavic Air, and you can check the link within this video's description to find where to order it online. Got all the different colors, got the, the different bundles and accessories. But I've been flying drones since the Phantom 1. So I've flown Phantom 1, Phantom 2, Phantom 2 Vision Plus, Phantom 3 Pro, Phantom 4, Phantom 4 Pro, Mavic Pro, and now the Mavic Air. So one of, the, one of the ways that I was able to overcome the fear of flying was experience. So I've flown drones a lot of times, and I've flown a variety of different drones. Now with that being said, any time that I take off, and obviously I've I made sure that I'm in a safe and responsible location. But any time that I take off, I 100% expect to lose that drone. And that's a mental conditioning technique that I've utilized for myself because this is an expensive hobby. And any time that someone takes off, they should be mentally prepared to lose that drone. You know, don't get involved with a hobby that is... Uh, you know, that's so expensive that if, if you lost it, that you'd go crazy. You don't want to have that happen. So, you know, always assume, and again, safe and responsible flying location, but always assume that you're going to lose your drone. And the thought process associated with that makes the fear of flying less scary. Because if you've mentally prepared yourself for the possible outcome that this drone will no longer be seen again, boom, you know, it's gone. It crashed, it was unable to be located. If you mentally prepare yourself for that, when you're flying, you're probably going to be less edgy. Because if you're completely nervous throughout the flight that, that you're going to lose your drone, you're probably not going to be as confident when you fly. Now, with flying an aircraft, there's a difference between confidence and recklessness. Now, obviously, you don't want to be reckless because in that scenario, I mean, obviously, still in a safe and responsible location, but being reckless could result in a crash that may otherwise not happen. You know, you may be trying to dodge trees and you're going too fast and you don't have obstacle avoidance on. It's just a recipe for disaster. You know, there are calculated risk that a pilot can choose to assume. And my calculated risk, obviously, are, well, I'm over water. You know, this thing is, if, if it goes down, it's probably going to sink. You know, and even though I dive down with my snorkel to retrieve it, it's probably not going to function again because it got wet. These drones are not waterproof. These drones are not water resistant. And they don't float. <laughs> so, you know, that's a calculated risk. I knew that when I took off that my expectation is that I may lose my drone in a safe and responsible flying location. But when I don't lose my drone and I land and I've got that footage to download and share to YouTube, it makes it all worthwhile. You know, risk reward. You know, every situation perform a, I like to refer to it as a pre-flight cost-benefit analysis. So the cost could be that I lose my drone. The benefit could be that I capture an awesome video over water that people like to watch, and it's a good thing. But I'm doing that with the assumption that this may crash into water, I may dive down and retrieve it, it may never function again. So at that point in time, it just becomes an unusable brick. So overcoming the fear of flying is something that 
everyone can possibly do. But how you choose to overcome your fear of flying may differ from how I was able to overcome my fear of flying. So I hope this video is of value. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so. It's youtube.com forward slash iRicksky. Again, check the link within this video's description. You can find the Mavic Air, all the different colors, all the different bundles, all the accessories, and other drones too. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash iRicksky. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, iRicksky here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.